Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one. Uh, today we are... Shut up! Oh my goodness, they're noisy. Hold on, let me solve this. Ugh. There. Eat. Hopefully that'll shut them up for a little bit. Man, they're noisy. I think I'm just gonna go in here for a little bit to get away from them. Hey guys. Everybody doing good? Looks like they're doing good. I brought more feed for you guys too. Oh, you guys. Man, you guys make a mess out of the water. All right, looks like they're doing good too. Anyway, like I was saying, today we are gonna go ahead and do part two of, I think part, I think it's gonna be a three part uh, video about the auction. So uh, today at the auction, there's a few things that I bought that I'm gonna show you. There's a few things that you're gonna have to wait till next video to see that I bought. Um, but yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff. Some of the stuff I'm hoping to flip. So we'll see what we keep. I'm gonna need you guys input on it, but uh, I'm pretty excited. This is going to be a little bit closer to the new format that I was thinking uh, for the auction. So please drop me a comment. Tell me what you guys think of the new format. Would you like it like the old one? You guys gotta tell me. So yeah, we'll get into it in here in a second. But it, these guys look like they're a little bit on the cool side. Might have to get another heat lamp. Oh well, I'll get them fed and stuff. Let's get into the auction a little bit and then I will show you a few things. And we got Tom and Thomas here fighting. Luckily they can't really get to each other. But we got a blue slate Tom. Mm, judging from his spurs, he's probably a second year bird. Tell me if I'm wrong. What's up, dude? You'd be insulted if I call you Jake? Maybe. Right. Looks like a Sweetwater Tom. Kind of cool bird. I don't know what's going on here. This looks like a blue slate cross, maybe? Big bunnies. And again, more bunnies. Okay. We got call ducks. Do I need more calls? Ooh. Those might get me in trouble. Might have picked those up. Those are cool. What are those snowies? If they're snowies, they're not very good snowies, but I like them. Got pigeons again. Doesn't say what the breed is. They look good though. More calls there. A couple of drakes there. I think both kinds of these are drakes here. Oh, these are fancy. We're gonna sell that little pink one. They're out of there. 35, 45, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, Another peacock, but he's actually got the tail gear to go with it. Pretty bird. What can you tell me? Nothing but the cage doesn't sell. They're pretty big though. Oh, so I had a pair of carriers, they escaped. My pen blew over, they got away. I'm guessing hawks got them, they might have just flown off. Those are kind of cool. Might have to try again. I don't know. I'll find out and see if I bought them. I don't know what you are. Yes, chickens I know. Ooh. Some fancy looking pigeons here today. 
I mean, I see the fantails, but I don't know what the other ones are. They look familiar, but I can't. I'm not even gonna pretend to guess. Oh. Well, that's what we. That's what we're dealing with here. So now that he knows what them is, there they are. Got some. You know, it looks like hens. Oh. So last sale, a guy just like this went for 42 bucks. It's a big blue rooster. And over here we have some some pretty hens. Those are all good breeds. Wyandots do well. Lavenders always do well. Pretty birds. A blue marin. Kind of cool. A couple of black ostrilar pens here. Red hens. Red roo. Black roo. All right, the wind is real bad out here, but we got a billy here. Where are you, bud? Huh? Dude, you stink. I'm downwind to him. Wow. <laughs> What's up, bud? Hey, dude. Dude. Got a little limp there? Some more rabbits. Yes, we hear you. We hear you. Hand ducks. Definitely. Oh, I hear Drake. Aww. Thanks, bud. It's not food, but, you know, I appreciate it. Another group of hens. Caternix quail. Quail eggs. Duck eating eggs. Got a bunch of uh, hatching eggs here. I'm guessing they'll go for more than what I want to pay for them. Give me the Saramas and the Sermanis. Uh, 83. Okay guys, uh, time to set some eggs. I know we're time traveling a little bit, but it is what it is. Uh, first though, I have a little less incubator space than what I had initially intended. Um, so I'm gonna need to go ahead and candle a bunch of eggs. Okay. So, got a bunch of turkey eggs. Actually, I think, yeah, there's a couple of Muscovy eggs on here too. But we'll go ahead and candle these. Most of the eggs in the incubator here. Um, there's a bunch of goose eggs and stuff, but they haven't been in there very long. So I don't wanna candle them quite yet. Anyway, let's get to going. Looking for, oh, see, there's veins. That one's good. That one's good. Yeah, that one looks like it's good. Good. How about if I, oh, no, oh, that's a duck egg. That one's good, look at that. Future little Muscovy. These things take forever though. Muscovies take 35 days. Normal ducks, 28. Anyway, uh, well, here's another Muscovy egg. We'll check those in real quick. Yep, that one's good too. Uh, let me check all these. Oh, there's another, Mus there's a Muscovy egg. That one's good too. The scobies are doing their job. Uh, I'm gonna count all these. I'll let you guys know what the total count is at the end. Okay, well, uh, the count here was really good. We had four bad eggs. That one, you can see it's got a blood ring. I'm pretty sure I don't see any other veins, so that one looks dead. The rest of them were very much obviously dead. Hmm. Anyway, uh, that didn't free up much space. It gave us space for four more, but uh, you know, 
least we got the bad ones out. Okay, now these eggs, guys, look. These are those Sarama eggs. Um, I don't know what the numbers on these are. I just know that they are tiny, tiny, tiny eggs. The chickens, we'll see if they, they go true. The small eggs, obviously, I have more hope in than I do these, but uh, I don't know what the difference between a melee is. Uh, you guys don't have to tell me what that is. But anyway, we got the I am Sermanis, these and the Saramas. We also have some blue, uh, not blues, lavender Orpingtons going in as well. These will actually hatch in time for the auction if I decide to sell some, which is kind of a point because I'm supposed to be trying to flip stuff, right? So hopefully it all goes well. Hopefully we get some chicks. I'll probably keep a few because they're tiny or black or lavender. They're all fun. But anyway, I'm gonna get these guys in. Hopefully you guys will be able to follow along and uh, we get a few more. We'll see what happens. Boy, apparently it's a sale for peacocks. Got two uh, peacocks here and it looks like a peahen next to them. And again, another peahen. Here's how much to go for. They've been a little bit on the cheaper side recently. White doves. And I actually have a pen, so that doesn't let me use that excuse anymore. Hopefully they'll go for too much, because I really don't want to mess with doves right now, but we'll see. Yellow golden pheasant. That's a pretty bird. I like the red goldens better though. A little bit more vibrant color. These are Amherst Red Golden Crosses. They ought to be some pretty cool birds. It's got that Amherst cackle right there. Hackle, sorry, not cackle, hackle. That's what I meant to say. M. Sermani doesn't look like... I don't know. Not top-notch quality, but he's pretty decent. Gotta love Rex rabbits. Still probably my favorite breed of rabbit. They're so soft. Turk and Silky Cross. You're not a pretty creature, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, talk about you. Oh my goodness. Look at the babies. Got a bunch of Dutch bunnies. Now these birds, these have been a hot ticket recently. I tried to buy some as chicks even, and uh, that didn't work out too well, but maybe, maybe I'll be able to get some. I'm not to outbid Luke though, so we'll see what happens. Look like a pair of Cayugas. Kind of cool ducks. Okay, so the Saramas, the uh, Sermanis, which are all pure black chickens. I don't know if you guys know much about those. Uh, the Saramas are actually like the smallest chickens in the world or second smallest. I can't remember. There's two different breeds that are real, real tiny. So I don't know what uh, gram these birds are, if they're the really, really tiny ones or if they're not as good a quality, but uh, they're supposed to be the smallest chickens in the world. Last I looked, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong on that. I know there's another kind, I can't remember what it is, that's also really, really small, but I don't remember if they're small or not. Uh, also, okay, the Sermanis, those are pure black. Guts are black, meat's black, bones are black, eggs are white, everything else, black. Comb, good, black chicken, goth chickens. So I got a dozen of those, 18 of the Sermanis. 
Uh, I got a whole bunch of lavender Orpington eggs. The price was good. Hopefully I get a bunch of those to hatch. Um, I got a whole bunch of Muscovy eggs, which I'm not sure what I was thinking. Muscovies take 35 days to hatch. So the incubator is tied up for a long time. But uh, those, I bought some mallard eggs. Uh, at least that's where they're marked. I don't know if they're flying mallard or if they're ruins and they're calling them mallards. So not exactly sure what I got there. We'll see, I got two dozen of those. Uh, what else did I get? I also set some, you know, a couple of call duck eggs that are from here, turkey eggs, a few of my own Muscovy eggs, uh, mix and match stuff. But anyway, hopefully in the next auction video, we'll go through also and candle a bunch of them and see how they're doing. So if you guys are interested in seeing how this all pans out, get away from me, then make sure you tune in in one of the, you know, the next auction video and hopefully we'll have good news. Hopefully a whole bunch of them are fertile. So yeah, anyway, that was the deal with the eggs. Uh, we have a little bit more auction footage to you know clean up and then I'm gonna put a few teasers at the end. But after that, that's, uh, that's gonna be a wrap for the video. So hope you guys like it. No idea what these are. Size chickens and a trio. Small buff birds. Some well, uh, brr, lavender, there we go. Lavender guineas. Next, the purples, which are different. You know, lavender and purple. They're two different things. <laughs> Couple more ducks. Uh, one of those eggs does not belong. <laughs> Hi, guineas. Hi. I don't know that I have anyone at home that wants you, though. I'm afraid you actually bite me, though. No need for that, though. Got more Africans. I want the hen. I might spend way too much money and get a hen. What do you guys think? Good idea, bad idea? down oh you have a baby <laughs> okay i understand you're mad but i want to see I want, ryan ryan i want to see the baby please don't bite me good job ryan's girlfriend that i was supposed to name like a year ago can you stand up for me fine they seem like they're a little bit nicer than the canadas will be uh I've been warned that the Canadas will beat me up. Not that Ryan wouldn't if I made a move, but we'll see. Uh, so, where was I? I don't know. Either way, real quick, uh, just so you guys can see, I am starting some cleanup, starting with the inside. We'll get to the outside stuff. I will get it cleaned up, but got a bunch of stuff moved out. Ducks are looking good. It's a little darker in here than what I want, but. Uh, so this is my pair of blue fawn calls that I had the entire time. And it's really dark in here. Oh, well, this is the pair that I just bought. They are quite a bit bigger which isn't awesome for me. I wish they weren't quite so big. You guys are making a mess too. You guys picked all this. Oh. Anyway, might take the hen, try and breed him. But ugh. I might take the hen and put her in this and make it a trio. He'll just have to chill out. Even the eggs are a lot bigger than the other one. So, holy crap, what was that? Anyway, 
Uh, the stuff underneath. Well, that's for next sale. We'll just say if you like pigeons, you're gonna want next uh, watch the next auction video. Okay, right here at the end, I'm gonna tell you guys. Uh, so I have the Canada geese, and I was planning on getting a lot more varieties, but I have run into a situation. The deal is the guy that I've been getting my birds from is getting rid of all of his birds, which uh, they're not cheap. Uh, we're talking 500 a pair. I don't have several grand to dump into some wild birds here. So I'm gonna have to pick and choose. I'm, I'm gonna try and get a couple of pair. I'll see how it all plays out. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you guys are thinking. What you guys want to see, if you guys really couldn't care less, I'd really appreciate some feedback on it. I really, really wanted to get like specs, blues, the barnacles. For some reason, I have an obsession with the barnacles. I'd really like to get some of those. Cacklers, because it'd be fun to have some small candidates, because that's what we have around here. Um, I also, I don't know if he has a pair of bar-headed geese, but they look cool. Um, Egyptians, like, I mean, I could spend three grand pretty quick if I had it, but three grand for just a few geese. I I don't think that would be very smart of me, uh, especially since the videos didn't do awesome. They did good, I like them, and they're for me also, but if you guys don't wanna see them, you guys really don't care, I could, you know, put that money towards something a little bit more productive. Anyway, uh, just wanted to let you guys know kind of what's happening there. Uh, if you guys would, please drop a comment and tell me what you guys are thinking. I'd appreciate it. So anyway, uh, that's going to do it for the video. If you guys liked it, you guys know the drill. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, whether you guys do those things or not, hopefully we'll see you on the next one. But what I'm doing out here is I have a turkey who has a nest right on the other side of the fence. And she should be hatching about any time. I really should candle the eggs and take them away or something. But the incubators are full because I set 200 eggs, you know, a couple days ago. I'm going to go get some powders.